Hans, I just bought this bodysuit, sat down, ripped this. The strap. What am I gonna do? Hans, only that would happen to me. I'm really sad because I love this outfit. I think it's so cute. You see, I can just hide it, can't I? It's fine. It's gonna have to be fine, that's for sure. <laughs> hello, honeys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then <gasps> hello. My name's Imogen. This is so exciting that you found me. I don't know how you found me, but please stay. Oh, Charlie, it's okay. It's all right, apparently I scared the dog. I'm sorry if I scared any of you, but I scared my own dog, oh God. Anyway, what was I saying? Hello, my name's Imogen. If you're new here, then please stay. I'm doing something quite exciting today. P.S. I'm at my mum's. So this is why it's a different setup. This is quite cute. I'm in the new forest today. Ooh. If you are new here, then please hit the subscribe button. That's not the subscribe button, that's the like button. Hopefully at the end of this video, you'll like it, so then you can give it a massive thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. So hit the subscribe button, and let's get on with the video. Today we're doing something. Very exciting. P.S. Did I tell you, if you're returning to my channel, then I love you so much and you're my Huns and you're my Huns forever and I just love you. I thought I'd tell you that because I said hello to the new Huns, but I didn't say hello to my OG Huns. I love you all so much. So today, oh, just a random choker, that's fine. Just dangling down. Today, I can't even believe I'm doing this with you. I am doing What's My Makeup Bag Dirty Edition. Dirty Edition because I'm exposing myself. I'm exposing myself. And this is terrible. I should not be telling my hands about this, like, please don't judge me, but we're doing the dirty edition of what's in my makeup bag. Too dirty to clean my act up. If you ain't dirty, you ain't here to put it. Ladies, move. Gentlemen, move. There's nobody in the room, so who are you talking to? Oh my God, Imogen, just expose myself so it doesn't matter about showing you what's in my makeup bag, does it? <laughs> I'm so scared my top's gonna fall down. I've like clipped it here, but whatever. Anyway, so this is really exciting because I always have different makeup bags and because I've come down to my mum's, I've packed certain things. I have not changed anything. I did not know I was gonna film this video down here, but I thought, I looked at my makeup bag and I was like, I need to show my hands this. Like, I need to show my hands this. Why would you think that, Imogen, when it's like this? Anyway, so let's get on with it. So first of all, can we talk about how dirty this bag is? Can you see all of that? If anyone else has a dirty makeup bag, please let me know down below. Please, 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 don't let me be the only one. You say I'm crazy. You don't think I know what you've done. Call me baby. I know I'm not the only one. Don't leave a gal on her own. Don't leave a gal on her own. Anyway, okay, so this makeup bag, also Primark, six pounds. Never taken the label off. Never taken the label off. I could have just cut that. I could have yanked that off. But apparently, I'm still gonna leave it on. Are you okay? Probably not. So I feel like maybe we should start around the front, just because then I can explain this little situation that's going on. This little situation that's going on. So basically, this is a really sad day, but I've gotta show you. It's not really that much of a sad day, because it's been there for about a month and a half, but this is my favorite highlighter in the world. It's the Ofra highlighter in Everglow, and it's the Nikki Tutorials collab. It is my favorite highlighter in the world, hence the reason she still stays in the front compartment. She's still gonna stay in the front compartment until she's fully broken. Like, she's not, she's not getting left. She's not getting left alone. But basically, she's switched over from this one, this one. It just all goes everywhere. Don't know about anyone else, but does that happen to anyone else? Or is it just Imogen? <laughs> I really hope it's other people as well. Okay, next thing. I had to get a little drink, Huns, because my voice, I don't know what's going on with it. So I think it'd be easier if I did palettes. So let's do palettes. Let's do, oh my. Okay, we'll do this first. This is a broken choker. I break all of my chokers because I sneeze and they break. I'm sorry, but they need to bring out more ribbon chokers because these ones, they're gone. I need to put that in the bin. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Let's talk about palettes. So these palettes I actually have on my eyes right now. I am obsessed with these at the moment. I have so many different palettes and I take so many different palettes. When I'm going away and I have my suitcase, I normally take a lot of palettes just so I can have different eye makeup looks and stuff like that. I've only got two because I'm down at my mum's. So I've got the Soph Does Nails Times Makeup Revolution palette. I'm obsessed with it. I am obsessed with it. The colors I've used on my eyes today are butter ting butter ting butter ting butter ting Okay. Then I've got my gal Chloe Morello's Ciate number no. two palette. Obsessed. Obsessed doesn't even cut it. I've got but a ting, 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 but a ting on my oh and but a ting. Oh, I've already mentioned her. I already mentioned her. I am obsessed with this palette. I love Chloe so much. Chloe, I met her years ago before I even started YouTube, before I even thought about you doing YouTube. I remember saying to her once, I was like, I should do YouTube, I really want to do it. And she was like, do it, do it. And I was just like Oh no, I don't know if I can. I remember saying that to her. I love Chloe so much. And also, Nini, there's a shade mentioned after Nina, my friend Nina, because Chloe and Nina, that's how I met Nina, through Chloe. So yay! I love this palette, it's amazing. Next things, bought two face masks down because 
I'm obsessed with these face masks and I needed to show my mum how obsessed and amazing they are. How obsessed and amazing they are? How obsessed I am and how amazing they are. Okay, so these are the ones from Primark. If you didn't watch my Primark haul, you need to go and watch it because Hans, it was quite good and I'm joking, but do watch it if you want. Anyway, three pounds, three pounds each. These face masks are the new favorite. Every time I do that, I feel like Mariah Carey. She always had the wind machine, didn't she? And Jessica Simpson. Used to love Jessica Simpson when I was younger. Who's oh, some I only know when times get rough? Or what about? Let's shake it up. Cause my love ain't the same. And you keep on playing games like I know I'm here to stay. Uh -huh. I'm so weird. What else does she sing? Come on, Mariah. Come to Imogen. Okay, so I've got those two in my makeup bag. Don't know why it's in my makeup bag, but it is. Let's get a makeup product before I start exposing myself too much. Not this way, this way. Okay, so, obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Oh, oh, I've just used it, so it's obviously got stuff in the top. I'm obsessed with this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. Obsessed with it, because it's got a slight tinge to it. It's got a slight color to it. So when I do bake under my eyes, it really brightens under my eyes. It doesn't crease, no flashback. I am obsessed with this. I am obsessed. Okay, Too Faced, I'm obsessed. Next thing, primer. Quite obsessed with this as well. Kat Von D, oh my God, it's covered in foundation. I am dirty. Okay, this is the Hydrating Primer. And is it hydrating? Yes, it is. It's so hydrating, I'm obsessed. I literally put like two pumps on my hands and you just feel it like, it makes your skin feel hydrated, smooth, I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking over here and not talking here. I don't know why I was looking over there. I was trying to think of how amazing it is, but I'm just obsessed with this product. That's a little primer in there for me. Okay, talk to me. This is the NARS Kabuki brush, 45 pounds I think this brush was. I didn't have the heart to tell the girl in Selfridges I couldn't really afford it. Couldn't really tell her. 45 pounds for a brush, but I'm telling you, it cuts a cheekbone. Like, it cuts that cheekbone so sharp, you're like, I don't have cheekbones, but I look like I do right now. <laughs> it will be worth 45 pounds because I will use and abuse that brush until I've had 45 pounds worth out of it for 45 years. <laughs> okay, so next thing. Thank you. So this is a Starbucks little, oh, it's a Chris, is it a Christmassy one? It's different to the normal brown one, so I think it must be a Christmassy one. Give good, cute. Okay, well, oh, sauce. Apparently I've always got a Starbucks thing somewhere because I'm addicted to Starbucks, so that one was getting left in there. Like, I did not take anything out. I did not add anything into this bag. I don't even know what's about to come out. Oh, but I can see something chilling in here. I can see something just chilling in here. How am I gonna get into her? Oh, just some lashes. Apparently just some random lashes. I think they're good to go, Imogen. It's actually just one. Is it one? No, it's two. They're just so flattened that they look like one. Thank you. I think we can safely say that's going in the bin next to the choker. Thank you. Okay, so next, you know about this, and if you don't know about it, get to know. Oh, oh, <coughs> in my face, in my mouth, thank you. Oh my God. This is the Mario Benesco facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. Talk to a gal. Don't talk to a gal because I'm obsessed with this. This is the best thing in the world. You can get the green tea and aloe one as well. Or the green tea and something else. I'm obsessed with both of them. I actually bought this one from Urban Outfitters, but you can buy it from Beauty Bay. But it's just so refreshing. It really brings my face back. Like, when I've got a lot of powder, it brings my face back. Like, I left it and I'm, it's bringing it back to me. <laughs> what are you even saying? But it really makes my face feel like my face again. Like, sometimes when I put a lot of powder on and I've maybe set my face and I've baked it, I feel like when I put this powder on, it just makes my face feel more revitalized, refreshed. Even when I've got no makeup on, before my skincare routine, after my skincare routine, I'm using this. It is like life. Seven pounds as well, so cheap. And the bigger bottle's 11 or 14. It's unreal. It's unreal. Lovely. Little face wipe I used from earlier. Thank you. Thank you. I've always got dried face wipes in there. I shouldn't even be saying this. Oh my God, I hope you all come back. Like, is this too dirty? I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I have got clean makeup bags, but they just get dirty so quick. If anyone wants to come and organize my life, then I'd love you so much. I'm not an organized person. I wish I was. I'm just not. Like, some of my friends are so organized, their drawers are all organized. My brother, Jacob, is so organized. Me, on the other hand, I didn't get that trait. I didn't get that trait from my parents. Actually, are my parents even organized? No, my mum's not. My dad's not. Jacob, where'd you get it from, baby boy? Change. 
You're an anomaly. So let me talk to you about my concealers in here. Concealers. I've got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Love this. Y33. This is so creamy, really dewy, but also thick. This one is a bit lighter. So sometimes this one's a bit dark for my under eyes and I want them a bit brighter. This one is the HD Studio Photogenic HD Concealer by NYX. And this is in the colour beige. Beige. I love these two. I sometimes mix the two together. I'll put this one sort of a bit further down here and this one closer to my eye. Both don't crease. Both are amazing. And I actually do get creased under eyes. I'm just putting everything in a little pile over there. Lash is just chilling in a box somewhere. These are the Girls with Attitude £3 ones from Primark. And they are in the style Unicorn. Because who doesn't want to be a unicorn? These lashes, if you don't know about them, like £3. £3 and I can reuse them, reuse them, reuse them, reuse them. Did I mention I can reuse them? <laughs> They're so cheap. £3 from Primark. I don't know where else you can get them, but I get them from Primark. There's so many different styles. They're unreal. Oh, you can buy them in savers as well. Yeah, you can. Foundations in here. Foundations. Let's get them out. They're filthy as well. Oh, my God. And this one's still got the security protected label on it. Oh. I'm just going to put that one over there. Pretend that didn't happen. This one's actually still got the packaging on. Thank you. Okay, so this is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover in number 24 Golden Beige. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me 220. This one is extremely dewy. It's actually called Matte and Poreless for normal to oily skin. But this is not matte and poreless. Like, this is dewy. I don't know whether they put it in the wrong packaging or something like that. Or does anyone else find that? Like, this gives my skin such a nice dewy finish. I don't even know. Matte and poreless. Uh-uh, honey. So I mix this one and this one for the best coverage. If I'm going to night out, these are two I'll mix. Like, this coverage. This is too matte. And this is thick. I'll squeeze a tiny bit of this one on my hand and a tiny bit of this one. Whack it all over my face. And it is coverage. It is coverage. Then the next one is the Makeup Forever, which I'm wearing today. Ultra HD stick. And this one is in the Y375. Y375. Oh my. This, I think the coverage looks really nice. It honestly makes my skin look airbrushed, but so do those two. I'm all about it. Do you know what I'm all about? Still looking like skin, but it's looking smooth and really kind of flawless. Do you know what I mean? Not caked though, like, you know, and you can see your foundation. No, this one just goes on and it's like, gives you ultimate coverage while still being able to see your actual skin through it but still being covered. How does that work? How have you done it, Makeup Forever? How have you done it? Keep doing it, because I love it. Okay. So obviously I had a chocolate bar yesterday, or maybe this morning for breakfast, I don't know. I do actually eat sometimes chocolate for breakfast, how bad is that? I used to do it at school and people would be like, I would be waiting in the, you know when you used to have to wait for the school doors to open? So we'd be like waiting in the playground, I'd be eating a chocolate bar and people would be like, how can you eat a chocolate bar for breakfast? I'm like, no babes, I've had breakfast. This is just a snack after breakfast. So this is the, but that was when I could eat normal chocolate. But this is the best vegan chocolate bar you will ever taste. My mum can have dairy and she tried this yesterday and she was like, that is the best thing I've ever tasted. It tastes like Nutella in a bar, so creamy and soft, but it's vegan. There's no dairy in it. Like, I don't get how they've done it. It's got nuts in it, though. So if anyone can't have nuts and don't get it, and maybe no one wants to get it anyway, but this is the mini bar, but you can get the big ones. Normally, I prefer the big ones, but Holland and Barrett only had the mini ones. And they only had nine left, and they always sell out, so I bought all nine. My mum was like, you all right? And I was like, are you okay? Because you're about to try one, and you're going to want one. So really, I've only bought eight, because I'm going to give one to you. <laughs> okay, so I've got a couple of brushes in here. However, I do actually have another makeup bag for just brushes, so don't know what these ones are just chilling in here for but we've got the Morphe M433 one of my favorite ever brushes for eye makeup I sort of pat color on with this one and then blend it out as well because it's like pointed but then it's also got bristles around it to blend everything in this is my favorite brush to contour with apart from the 45 pound one that we're not going to talk about anymore but this is the F40 from Sigma and it's really good because it's sort of angled and it gets right up in there <sighs> lovely what else have I got I've got this one favorite one for blusher Morphe M530 it just is really round and perfect for just going on the cheeks. Chilling. Oh, then we've got this. Have we got two colours, actually? I feel like we have got two colours. Yeah, we do. These are the Stila. Oh, we've got hair on it. Wonderful. We're not going to talk about that one. This is the Stila Liquid Metals. I'm obsessed with these. I have this silver one in diamond dust on my eyes at the moment. Just a little bit here. But I blended it out with another pigmented eyeshadow because I thought it would be quite cute. These are unreal. I've got the colour... Gold Goddess and Diamond Dust. And normally I mix the two together because that just adds even more pigment and I'm all about it. When I'm on a night out, I love to have glitter on my eyes and have a really, really bright choker, like a Diamante choker, because I feel like it just makes your eye makeup pop. Like, this complements this. They complement each other. <laughs> Am I weird? Yeah, I'm weird. Sorry. Then obviously in here I have my Boots Nipple Cream. I do use nipple cream on my lips. I basically worked out a long time ago that nothing sorts out my dry lips. Nothing. 
and then I found nipple cream. Sorts me out, not even joking. No need to remove before breastfeeding. 100% natural grade lanolin and vitamin E. I'm not just saying this, like anyone, like some of you Huns have messaged me and said that it has saved your life, it has saved my life. Like any dry skin I have, this literally just takes it away. I put this on my dry lips at night and that's it in the morning, I'm like, okay, thank you very much, thank you very much. It's Boots own brand, but I'm just obsessed. Sorry if that one's a weird one, but it's actually really helped me. My favorite blusher in here is the California Blusher, and I have used this, like we're nearly hitting pan, huns. We're nearly hitting pan. It's the California, and obviously I call everyone my gal, so it was made for me. It wasn't actually made for me, I wish it was, but you know. <laughs> then, <gasps> if you have anything that's ever dried out, this is amazing. I think this was four pounds. I think this was four pounds, but you need a drop of it. It's the Inglot Duraline. This is the best thing ever. If you have dried out gel liners, if you have dried out eyebrow pomades, this, look, can't even explain it to you. One pipette of it, one, like that, one. One drop and everything is creamy again. Creamy, again, four pounds, okay. Thank me later, angels, thank me later. Okay, then next, these are the kind of ones I wear when I'm not really wearing anything. So these are the kind of ones I'm wearing when I'm not really wearing anything. Did that make sense? No, it didn't. Basically, if I'm not wearing any foundation, or if I want to put this on before foundation, these are my favourite things. So this is the Steeler Stay All Day 10-in-1 HD Illuminating Beauty Balm. You can use this as a primer, but I prefer to just use this when I'm wearing nothing. I just want to have a little bit of a base to my skin, a little bit of a dewy glow, you know? And then I've got the Strobe Cream MAC Gold Light. Life. Life. It's like I'm walking around with a constant ring light. Babes, you need to get this. Like, this is unreal. A tiny bit of it, I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to show you still. It's like goldness. Put that all over your face and you literally look illuminated. Oh, just tried to click and I still have it on my fingers. Thank you. <laughs> We've got a random case that probably had eyelashes in it once upon a time. That can also go in the bin. We've got a random train ticket because I spend my life on trains. This one is from Hove 2. Doesn't actually say, oh, this is a collection receipt. Issuing office, Hove. Okay, £22.50, probably to go to London. Probably should go to London with my rail car. I spend my life on trains, but I love it. Like, I'm one of these people that love long train journeys. Honestly, my ex-boyfriend used to live like four and a half hours away and I used to love it. I used to have to get three trains and I used to be like, I'm getting on this train. This train, I can read my magazines. The next train, I'll listen to my music, won't let my battery die. Third train, do my makeup. I love it, I love trains. Thank God I love trains, because that's been my whole life on them. Oh, one of my favorite eyebrow pomades at the moment. This is what I've got on my eyebrows at the moment. It dried out, but I use my Duraline and it ain't dry no more. This is the e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in medium brown and it's a massive pot. It's amazing. It's got a little bit of hair, so I'm not gonna show you the inside, thank you. But it's amazing, like I'm obsessed with it. It's so creamy, it dries, it's waterproof. It's just amazing, I love it. Should I tell you it's amazing again? Probably. And if you know, you know me, you know I love to glow. This is what I've got on at the moment. I'm talking to you about my glow because I think my glow is quite thick at the moment. Can you see that? I think that's a nice glow. This is the Iconic Illuminator Drops in Original. I put this here. Well, I haven't today, actually. I should have. Oh, don't expose yourself. I sometimes put it here on a night out. It just makes your whole body just glow. And I like to glow. Did I say I like to glow? Yeah. I think I mentioned it to everyone all the time how much I love to glow. Like, I'll put this with moisturizer. This is like, this is pigment. Oh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Let's put a little bit on my collarbones. Look at that. Soz? Soz. Can you see that? Obsessed. 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 My hand. I'm just gonna have one really glowy hand. Okay, then, love this. Haven't got it on today though, actually. Should have done this today. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow in the number five. And this is amazing. This literally creates brow hairs like no tomorrow. It's a tiny little wand and it just gives me thickness and fullness to my brows and I like it. Well, obviously I like it because I wouldn't have it in my makeup bag otherwise. Although I don't even know what's going on in here at the moment. Another amazing brow pomade is the brow pomade from Makeup Revolution in Medium Brown. Amazing. Amazing. I'm all about finding new cheaper products like these two brow pomades are my favorite and they are so cheap They are amazing. And we've also got a little compede sticker. Thank you That was from my blister plasters because I always get blisters and I always carry the compede blister plasters around with me Because they saved my life because I have, if I'm uncomfortable if I'm cold or if I'm hungry I'm not that nice. Well, actually I'm always nice, but I'm a little bit like touchy. No, I'm not. But just my feet are uncomfortable and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to walk. Do you know what I mean? If my feet are uncomfortable or if I'm hungry, I'm just a little bit like you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Okay, we've got a few lipsticks in here as well, Huns. A few lipsticks. Oh, and glosses. Okay, so we've got this one, which is blunt. Thank you. And it needs a specific sharpener, which I left at home. So this is the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil in Bell. Love these nude sticks. They are amazing because they're not too matte. 
They're not too matte when they dry your lips out. They're amazing. Then we've got this intense butter gloss. This is very intense. Like, this is so intense. It's so buttery. This is in the color Cookie Butter, okay, from NYX. And then I've got a NYX lingerie in, not actual lingerie, but it's the liquid lip in lingerie. And it's Dusk to Dawn. What's that song? What's that song? Isn't it by Zane? I roll. I hope I'm right. I love this colour. Shall I swatch that one for you? I'll swatch that one for you. Can we see that? I hope you can see that. Is it too close? Don't know. It's a lovely sort of orangey nude. I've got it on my lips right now. Don't need to swatch it, Hans. Don't need to swatch it, but that little face wipe will come in handy to get that off. Thank you. Then I've got a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I love the NYX lip stuff. This is in London. This is a lovely brownie colour. And then I also have the NYX Shock Butter Gloss in the colour Madeline. So normally I put those two together, London and Madeline. And I use this eyeliner on my eyes today, and this is the NYX Crayon Eye and Eyebrow Pencil in Baby Blue. <gasps> baby blue. It's a really, really soft, light, silvery blue colour. Instead of wearing a white eyeliner, sometimes I like to wear a blue one. It just makes my eyes pop a bit more, makes them really open, and doesn't look too bright. Sometimes when I put a white on, you can see I'm wearing a white liner. No, 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 not with baby blue. Not with baby blue. And also, on the topic of NYX, this is the Cobalt Blue NYX Liner. It's a blue. When I'm going under my eyes, oh, I should have put this on today because I want to blow under my eyes. These eyeliners from NYX are amazing. You can use them in your waterline. You can use them as an actual eyeshadow. You can use them as an eyeshadow base. They're amazing. Obviously, even though my liners, which I'm about to show you, are blunt, I do actually have a sharpener. Well done, Imogen. Well done. My French friend, Sandra. Sandra, if you're watching this, I love you, Sandra. Je t'aime, Sandra. Sandra. I love Sandra so much. Her brother went over to France, she's from France, and her brother went over to France and she bought this for me, and it's the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in Strawberry Kisses. Oh, this is what I was wearing the other day and everyone was asking me on my snap and I was like, it's from Sephora, but it's amazing. It does not transfer. We went for pizza and my lips stayed on. I was like, has it gone all over my face? She was like, no, it's not transfer. I was like, babes, you've sort of yell out, you've sort of yell out. Okay, then last but by no means least, we'll put her on the floor right now. These, I need to talk to you about them. First of all, this is a liner from Lottie London, but apparently it's dried out, so that one has to go in the bin. I do actually really like that liner, but okay, I've left it without a lid on, well done. I've got loads of lids as well at the bottom of my bag, like, did you not want to put them back on? Did you not want to put them back on, babes? Apparently not. <laughs> this Rimmel Wonder Wing isn't my favourite, but it's my favourite for drawing that precise line because it has a really fine tip and it's also really sturdy. It's not one of those thin tips which just go like that. Don't like those ones because I'm not very good at liner. This one I sort of trace the actual line with and then the other ones I put the colour on because this one dries really quite grey and I like it dark and matte. Then these are all my liners. Oh my god. Well, not all my liners because I have so many. I should start on my favourite. This is my favourite ever liner ever. It's the Rimmel Lip Liner in Cappuccino. It's it is my favourite lip liner ever. Ever. If I could have one makeup product for the rest of my life that I would just wear on my face, it'd be a lip liner. People say brows, people say lashes, people say foundation. Mm -mm. Liner. Lip liner. Apparently the dog even agreed. Yeah, lip liner, Charlie. Lip liner. Okay, so then I've got the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. They're all kind of browns. I like dark lip liners. I do like dark lip liners because sometimes I use just lip liners all over my lips as a colour. I've got this one from NYX. It's nude beige and that's kind of a chocolatey brown colour. Then I've got this one which is, <laughs> needs a sharpen. Apparently I haven't used this one for a while. This is called Need Me. That was a lighter one. Then I've got the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 5C. These ones are very good. They're a little bit more expensive than Makeup Forever ones, but they are water waterproof. They are waterproof. You can wear this all over your lips. Waterproof. Lovely. And really creamy. Then I've got the NYX suede one in Los Angeles. That one's a really dark colour. Then I've got Nude Truffle, which is a little bit darker than Los Angeles. Los Angeles, LA. And this one's very dark. This is the NYX lip liner. I love NYX lip stuff. And this is Urban Cafe. Obsessed. Obsessed. Oh my god, Hans, we finished. I'm really sorry. Was that an absolute joke? Was that embarrassing? I should be embarrassed and ashamed of myself, shouldn't I? Next time you speak to me, next time I speak to you and I do one of these, I'm going to have the cleanest makeup bag. It's all going to be put into little categories, into little sections. I'm going to have a massive makeup bag and it's going to be divided. Watch me. I probably won't, but I'm going to try. I really hope you like this video. Please give it a massive thumbs up if you do, so I know that you do. I'd love to do another one of these because I have so much makeup stuff that I take to different events. Let's say I'm going to an event in London, I'll pack my suitcase very differently, and I'll pack my makeup bag very differently. So if you want to see more videos like this, then please let me know. I mean, maybe they won't be so dirty next time. I'm really hoping they won't. Oh, my God. Maybe I won't have a bodysuit that broke. And maybe I just won't be so weird. No. That's one thing I definitely will be. I will always be weird. 
<laughs> hey honey, so if you're new to my channel then you won't know this, but please subscribe if you are new, and if you're not new then I love you so much, thanks for being here, I love you, I love you, I love you. Anyway, I love you all, but I play this game where I mime a song and you just gotta guess the song, so let's do it. If you're new here, I do shout outs. My shout out this week goes to Elliot and Alicia. Elliot contacted me and told me that his girlfriend watches my videos, and I just want to say, what a sweet boyfriend for you to do that. Thank you for watching my videos because maybe Alicia makes you. He said that he was downstairs snapping me while she was upstairs watching me, and I was like, you two are couple girls. I love you both. Alicia, you're amazing. Thanks for being a hun, and I just, yeah, I love you both so much. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, my hun. So if you like this, please give it a massive thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave. I love you all so much. I hate saying goodbye. I hate saying goodbye. It's like the worst part of this. I get so excited to upload videos, you know, like I literally sit there before five o'clock and I'm like I get to go through my honey's comments. I get to see my hands. I get to share with you things So yeah, I just feel like you're all with me right now. I love you all so much. Thanks so much for your support I will never ever stop telling you how much I love you until next time angels I'm gonna love you and I'm gonna leave you Leave you. I wish I didn't have to leave you, but I've got to go. Well, I don't actually have to go anywhere I'm probably gonna go and edit this video and sort this out. I'm definitely changing. <laughs> My voice can go so high sometimes, I feel like I sound like a dolphin. Okay, I love you, bye. <laughs>